Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a pretty big hamster haul. I got a ton of stuff because I am getting a new hamster. Um, I think I'm going to be getting it either later on today or tomorrow um, because I finally have all my supplies and I am going to set up my enclosure later on today. I have been building up my stock of supplies for quite some time now and I still have more stuff coming in the mail but I have most of it already so I just thought I'd get the haul done and then I'd get my enclosure started. So I guess the first thing I got is the IKEA Detolf. Um, there it is right there. Most hamster owners already know what it is but it's just a shelf that IKEA sells and a lot of people use it for hamster enclosures and it's only $60 so that is a great deal for an enclosure. So I'm just gonna get started on the bedding. The first bedding I got is a huge bag of Aspen shavings. Um, how big is this? It is 141 liters so yeah that is a lot and I don't think that I think I'm only gonna put a little bit of Aspen in the enclosure and most of it's gonna be paper bedding but this so this will last me a long time the second type of bedding I got is the all living things paper bedding oh yeah the other the Aspen shavings were also all living things this is just the brown paper bedding um, I got all of my bedding and like tan or brown colors because I want to do a naturalistic theme. It's not too big, but it's also not super small, which is good. And I just got two of these bags. The last type of bedding I got is this um, eco bedding and it's all, it's 100% recycled paper and it's just a dark brown color. I'm just going to layer this with the other bedding so their burrows are more stable and just yeah just for some extra texture I thought it would be nice I'll put like a little section of this and I'll also like I said layer it with the other beddings so this is a 36 liter bag and it says it expands to over 125 liters so that's pretty nice the next thing I got is this oxbow orchard grass hay and um, once again, this is to stabilize their burrows and to provide more texture. This is a pretty big bag. Um, I got all, I got the orchard grass hay, the aspen shavings, and the paper bedding all at PetSmart. And then I got the eco bedding at my local pet store. It wasn't at PetSmart. I don't know where you can find the eco bedding. I don't know if most places have it, but you could probably order it on Amazon. The next thing I got is this big bag. It's really heavy, actually. This big bag of Repti sand. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna get play sand next time because a lot of people say that play sand is safe as long as you sterilize it. And some brands, you don't even have to sterilize it. It's already sterilized. So that's probably what I'm gonna get next time because this bag, I think it was like 14 or $15, maybe even more expensive than that. I'm definitely gonna get a big tub of play sand next time but yeah so this is safe because there's no calcium or any other like um, chemicals in it the next thing I got is this huge bag of millet sprays it's like a really big bag and I got this at PetSmart it says it's for birds but don't worry your hamsters are safe to eat it I got this I got these two containers from Target and they were just three dollars each it's just a little food storage container and i got two of them for the hamster food so i already put the food in here and the food i got is the higgins sunburst hamster and gerbil mix and i also got the um missouri rat and mice mix or just these little things um, these or, are for protein and then the other mix is just for other nutritional value and the seeds and stuff like that. So you just do 50% of the rat and mice mix and 50% of the Higgins Sunburst seed mix. 
and you just mix them together and that gets all the nutrition they need. Um, I really like these little containers. They seal nicely and they are pretty cute. So I like them and then I can just stack them on top of each other to store them. The next thing I got, I also got this from PetSmart. This is the All Living Things Natural House Hide. So it just looks like this. I like it a lot. I think it's really cute. It has this nice doorway and this nice window and there's a good amount of room in there. I already had these um, two little wood platforms, um, but I just scrubbed them with soap and water and then I baked them in the oven at 250 degrees for 30 minutes to sanitize them. And they are just um, walnut tree, so they are safe for hamsters. And yeah, I'm going to be use, using these as platforms to um, just for the hamster to walk on and also for the decor, I guess. And um, I'm probably going to put other things. I might put their food dish on here or just, I don't know. We'll just have to see. The next thing I got are these two um, magazine holder things. I got, I also got these from Ikea and um so it'll be multi-purpose so the hamster can go in here and use that as a hide um, and i can also use it as a platform and sit things on top of it so they can use it to burrow and to hide the next thing i got is this flower pot i already had this and um i wasn't using it for any plants or anything like that so i'm just going to use it as a hide for my hamster i'll just put it on the side like this and they can just go in there and chill out and do whatever they want. So I started off with the Silent Runner and this is just a nine inch, it is very silent, so the name is correct. But um, so originally I got this because, well, I don't know what type of hamster, I don't know if I'm getting a dwarf or a Syrian yet. And so um, I got the nine inch wheel because the minimum for a Syrian is eight inch. But then after I got it, I was like, well, um, it's probably gonna grow. And if I have a bigger Syrian, I don't want them to have this small wheel. So then I ended up getting the 11 inch Wodent wheel, which is also very silent. So I was going to return this one because I got a bigger one, but I decided I'm just gonna keep it just so I have an extra wheel. All right, the next thing I got, I also got from PetSmart, and it is the All Living Things Willow Bundle Sticks. So, I mean, it's just a bundle of willow. I'm just going to put it in there, and my hamster can walk on it and climb over it and also, of course, chew it. So, that'll be a really nice chew for it. The next thing I got is this bottle, just a spray bottle. I got this from Target and it wasn't too expensive so that was nice and then i also got this white vinegar from target um so i can make homemade hamster cleaner and to do that all you need is one cup of water and one cup of vinegar and you just mix them together and it is a safe cleaner for your hamster enclosure and your hamster toys and stuff like that so yeah and then i just put them in this spray bottle and there you go the next thing I got from Target, I got a bunch of these bowls and I think I'm going to go back and get more. So I got different colors because I'm probably going to do different themes for different like holidays and seasons. So I just got different colors and either I'll make like a little foraging bowl or um, use this as a sand bath or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but uh, yeah, so I just got these black probably for Halloween, pink for Valentine's Day, this blue for spring or something, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I honestly didn't even know I grabbed it, but I might do both gray and black for Halloween. I don't know yet, we'll just have to see. The next thing I got is this All Living Things um, glass water bottle, and it's a no drip nozzle, so that's important. Um, yeah, I like this water bottle a lot. Next thing I got, I also got from PetSmart, and it is this All Living Things Willow Sticks. It's just this pack of willow sticks, so they can chew on them. Okay, I also got these from PetSmart, and they are the All Living Things 
bendy bridges um i i actually need to order more off amazon because these are actually pretty small and i want to get bigger ones i want to get them like this big the ones they make for guinea pigs but they're actually not big enough for guinea pigs so um yeah i'm gonna order bigger ones but i just got two of these and then i also got these um wood pieces off pangea.com and they're just these uh little accent piece wood things meant for reptiles but they work just fine for hamsters too so i got a pack of 12 and then i just boiled them i think three times to get all the dirt and bacteria off of them so yeah they're really nice and of course my hamster can chew them or just walk on them and have them for extra texture on their feet and stuff like that so yeah they can do whatever they want with them and then the i also this container i got from target it was i think like eight dollars and it is actually like a drawer that you put in your refrigerator but i'm going to be using it as a sand bath so it's pretty deep and it's it's a pretty good size um before i get into my big box from amazon i'm just going to show the cardboard i have so i have these cardboard tubes um, I think these were all connected in one big tube yeah and then I just cut them into threes so that there can be smaller tubes and I'm just going to bury these under the bedding so that my hamster can find them and just climb in them and play in them and all that fun stuff then I have this big like um, I think this was in a big toilet paper roll and I just cut it and this is I just made a big hide so I think I'm gonna put this in the sand bath so that the hamster can have a hide in the sand bath so they feel more safe to go to the bathroom and roll around in and all that and then I also have this tube and then I have this big roll of cardboard that I'm just going to unravel and then just um, rip up into just smaller pieces so my hamster can chew on it or use it to make their nest. Okay, now I'm going to get in my big box from Amazon. So let me get that. <clears throat> All right, so I have a pretty big box here and I'm running out of room. So I need to move this stuff over. Oh, okay. First, I have these wood pieces that I already boiled three times. They were like really dirty, um, so I had to boil them a lot, and then I just dried them on this pan. I don't remember where, like what, um, I don't remember what brand these wood pieces are from, but I'm going to put everything I bought in the description. So I got these. Again, just so my hamster can climb over them and stuff and just so it looks more natural and I was honestly expecting these pieces to be bigger but like it's fine I'm gonna order more wood online so yeah there's these I also got these five pieces of wood like little logs so yeah I am going to be putting those in there as well The next thing I got is this really cute little coconut hide. I love this so much. It's actually pretty big, so that's nice. And I hope my hamster really likes this because it's so cute. I love it. The next thing I got is just this set of toys, little two toys, and I guess, so I got this swing, which I'm going to put I'm just going to hang it from the top bars and then just have a cute little swing. I love this. It's so adorable. The next thing is this little wooden teeter-totter, which of course my hamster can chew and also climb on. The next thing I got is this little um, wooden ball. There's a bell inside of it. Yeah, so there's this fun little wood ball. And then there's another one with a bell and then 
just this nice chew. And then I got this, is it a dumbbell, I think? This cute little chew. I think it's called a dumbbell. I, or is it, no, this, are they both called dumbbells? I don't know. So I got this one as well. It's just a nice, cute chew. And then I got this, which I'm gonna hang on top of my enclosure and just, it's gonna hang down and it's a, just a big long chew. I like that one a lot. And then I got this, I think it's a seagrass, I think it's a seagrass ball. So yeah, there's that. And then lastly, I got this ladder. I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet, but I'll figure it out. So I got this wood ladder. Okay, I also got these Browns um, wheat sprays. I just got two bags of them. There is a pretty good amount in here. I kind of wish, I wish they, there were more wheat sprays in here than they are, because they were actually kind of expensive, but it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I couldn't find wheat sprays anywhere else, so these will have to work. Then I also got this Night Angel um, big long bendy bridge. It bends every which way. I can use it as like one big giant. Actually, that wouldn't really work as a hide, but yeah, it's a bridge. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. The next thing I got is this multi, this Night Angel multi-chamber hide. But of course you can take this off and then there are multi chambers in here so yeah i'm very excited about that i think that i'm going to have to buy something to like put to kind of paint on the wood to protect it from um if the hamster pees in here so the wood doesn't get damaged i'm gonna have to buy some of that but yeah and it also comes with a little piece of sandpaper so i can sand it down if there's any rough edges and then the last thing i got is this um playpen cows for playpen and I can just unfold it and have a nice big playpen in the picture it's like a pretty big playpen and this will come in handy when I am doing the taming process for my hamster um so we can get acquainted and I can uh, chill in there with my hamster I also have this uh, little jar thingy and it has a bunch of herbs in here so these are home Oh, it smells so good. These are homegrown herbs and then I just dehydrated them or dried them or whatever. Um, there is some oregano, basil, thyme, um, parsley, and dill in here. I'm gonna be ordering more. I'm gonna be ordering dandelions and like all the other types of flowers that hamsters can eat and I'm gonna be ordering some more herbs as well. And then lastly, I have Oh, it's heavy. Hold on. Lastly, I have this big bowl of rocks. So I sanitized all of these. I scrubbed them with water and soap. And then I also let them soak in soap and water for an hour. And yeah, I just have a big bowl of rocks. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these in the enclosure yet, but I just have them just in case I want to use all of them. That is my hamster supplies haul. I definitely got a lot more stuff than I originally thought I did doing this haul. I now see how much stuff I actually got, but I'm still going to get more. I'm going to get more like wood hides because I think that I need more hides. Um, I think I have a pretty good amount of chews right now, but yeah, I definitely want more hides. And then, um, like I said, I'm going to add more I'm gonna buy more wood accessories and stuff like that. I'm very excited to get my hamster. Um, I'm going to film me setting up my enclosure. So that's gonna be in my next video. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that like right now. I need to sanitize my enclosure first. Like I said, I'm going to be linking everything that I got off Amazon in the description. And I'm probably gonna be linking a lot of the stuff that I got from PetSmart. Um, in the description so that you all can get everything I got if you want it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is my first video on this channel, so just let me know what kind of content you all want to see after this, what kind of hamster videos. Okay, thank you!
Bye.